So until RCT with the histological endpoints prove their efficacy, statin should not be used to specifically treat the NASH. So statin is not uh, proven uh, for the treatment of the NASH in the meantime, as they can make worse a little bit about their uh, liver functions. When steatosis and steatopatides are evident, important to assess for the metabolic risk factors and alternative etiologies. And coexistent hepatitis steatosis is common in hepatitis C, I mean hepatitis C infection. Uh, it is known to treatment of the steatosis and steatopatides, hepatitis, natural history and other chronic liver disease such as uh, primary biliary cholangitis, chronic hepatitis C infection that concurrently occurred in the nephalty. In patients with other type of chronic liver diseases, like uh, 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 they have a nephalty or NASH, there is no data to support the use of the vitamin E or bioglitazone in these patients if we have uh, other chronic liver diseases. A patient with NASH cirrhosis should be screened for the gastrotrophical rhesus. That is important because we have a, a, a varices and then uh, some uh, bleeding problems. And the NASH cirrhosis should be considered for the ACC screening. And current evidence does not support routing, repeating of the liver biopsy and nephalic or NASH, uh, whether uh, to, to know the improvement of the uh, treatment after having some uh, drugs or something like that. So these are the drugs with the collateral benefits. Metformin reduce the risk of the liver cancer, increase survival in the cirrhotic. Statin reduce of the risk of the liver cancer risk of the death or complication of the cirrhotic, and reduce hypotension, reduce fibrogenesis. So we, we still have the query query about some uh, uh, the drugs. The latest is the GLP-1. It's a glucagon-like re peptide uh, 1 receptor, uh, agonist, and uh, SGLT2 uh, 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 glucose uh, uh, co-transporter uh, 2 inhibitors. This is the reduction of the uh, a cardiovascular mortality and events. So these are the, the, the drugs uh, which, which can be used in the diabetes with the nephalty. Uh, this is the later drugs that reduce the weight as well as the, uh, uh, reduce the appetite. So that improve uh, the histology of the nephalty and the NASH. So there are a lot of uh, the, the drugs, uh, you know, the first generation uh, Farnicide X receptor, and PBER Econics, uh, we have uh, orbiticole assay, uh, senicribiro rox. This is a CCR2 chemokine receptor, two and five uh, antagonists. And uh, we have a uh, uh, alafibrinol. This is a PBER alpha and delta uh, agonist. We have a, a salonsatib. This is a apoptosis uh, uh, signal uh, kinase receptor one agonist, etc. So uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, Novel drugs, which are trying in the uh, in, in the uh, phase three trial, uh, 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 probably I think uh, uh, obeticologists uh, have proven by the FDA and, and marketed in the meantime. So a lot of uh, metabolic regulators, uh, second generation FSR agonists, uh, FGF19, FGF21, ACC inhibitor, SCD1 inhibitor, GLB1 are agonists, and then anti-inflammatory agents like CCR2, CCR5 receptor blocker. Uh, Selonsatib, uh, VEP1 inhibitor, or uh, thymomimetics, and anti endotoxin compounds, and VLX103. So, probably next two or three years, we can uh, definitely say these drugs are useful for the treatment of the NASH or the nephalty. But in the meantime, I have already mentioned about that only uh, the lifestyle modification, weight reduction, and the SSI, uh, these are very important for the management of the nephalty and NASH. So there are a lot of pipe, pipelines. The progress is recognition of the medical need, NASH as an indication for therapy accepted, and operational pathological definition of the NASH, and we have to agree upon the achievable surrogate endpoints, and we have to regulatory path increasing clear. The challenges are the multiple pathogenic mechanism, imperfect animal model, we have non-invasive POB trials, uh, trials with the liver biopsy, surrogate for the heart outcomes, and surrogate for the uh, patient's response therapy. So a little bit difficult in the improvement and the treatment of the drugs. Uh, so uh, the drugs are still uh, doing the trials and not uh, uh, properly uh, accepted yet. 
So this is very important, but for the primary care physician, so what we are doing in the primary care, the management of the net, we have to do the history, physical examination, uh, and then a higher threshold for screening of the obesity, uh, because diabetes, etc., and other risk factor of the abnormal liver function tests like alcohol and viral hepatitis, examination, sign of chronic liver disease or BMI, and then we need to do the investigation like uh, uh, full blood count, UNE, liver function test, fasting, cholesterol, glucose, ion, etc. And consider performing of the liver screen if in doubts about the diagnosis. Uh, we have to do uh, HPV, HCV serology, immunoglobulin, uh, autoimmune liver screen, etc. And then we have to do the uh, ultrasound abdomen uh, for the fatty infiltration. So when to refer, so this is important. If you find out abnormal liver function test, uh, which patient should be referred to the specialist? So this is very important. Uh, actually, uh, this is my last slide. And at any patient with a clinical biochemical or radiologic signs of liver cirrhosis, you should refer to this patient to the specialist. And any patients in whom there is any doubt about the diagnosis of the nephaldi, if you are not sure about the nephaldi, we need to do some uh, uh, more uh, complicated tests, uh, you should refer to, to this patient to the uh, specialist. And any patients who liver function tests fail to normalize with the weight loss. Uh, although, I mean, the weight loss definitely improves the uh, liver cirrhosis, hepatitis, but the weight loss cannot uh, fulfill the uh, uh, normalization of the LFT. You should refer this patient to the specialist because there are some other uh, uh, co coincidental uh, uh, that. Uh, uh, pathology or uh, the diseases. So any patients who, despite about the management option, fail to lose weight, now in whom liver biopsy or fibrous scan is indicated. So if you think about liver biopsy, fibrous scan is indicated, you should refer this patient uh, to their uh, specialist. Uh, this is my last slide. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Seafarm. Caring for well-being.